Annually in the U.S. alone, 35,000 people die from antibiotic resistance, 80,000 people die from diabetes, and 600,000 people die from all forms of cancer. What do these problems have in common? They can all be addressed by improving our understanding and manipulation of bacteria. My research does this by using sequence analysis to discover bacterial riboswitches, which switch on or off bacterial genes. By using a computational pipeline, I discover likely switches that I give to experimentalists to validate. These switches can then be used by scientists and bioengineers to kill bacteria by switching off their essential genes, manipulate bacteria to produce human insulin for diabetics, and program bacteria to kill cancer cells. To date, only about 45 switches have been discovered, but it is estimated that there are thousands more. These switches are made of RNA, which is the intermediate between DNA and protein except for riboswitch RNA does not code for protein. In humans, over 90% of all RNA does not code for proteins. But in bacteria, only 10% of RNA does not code for proteins. Since this was previously considered junk RNA, you could either say that I am looking for needles in a haystack or dumpster diving, but with bacteria, my haystack or dumpster is much smaller. I find switches with a four-step process. One, locate long balanced RNA between protein coding genes in one bacteria. Two, search for similar sequences in other bacteria. Three, find their folding pattern using sequence and structure similarities. And four, predict substances for binding to figure out function using nearby genes as clues. I have already analyzed 58 bacterial genomes and discovered 55 likely switches, one of which shown here was recently shown to bind a substance that bacteria produce in nutrient poor conditions to switch on the production of certain proteins. Binding this substance turns the solution blue, as you can see in the right test tube. So, this is a likely riboswitch with implications for antibiotic resistance, diabetes, and cancer. But how many more are out there?